Hey everyone and welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how to import loads of icons into Cubase 10 using a really simple method that's going to save you loads of time. So if you've created your own custom graphics or maybe purchased something from me off the website, this is the way you go about importing them relatively quickly. The first thing we're going to need to do is create an empty folder. It doesn't really matter where you create this, you can create it on your desktop or you can create it on a different hard drive. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to create it on the desktop. Now with this new folder, we can name it whatever we like. We don't have to worry about anything specific, so give it a name that's going to help you find it in the future if you need to import more icons. So for this I'm going to call it Cubase 10 Icon Import. Now inside of this folder, we need to create a subfolder, and this is really important for this method to work. So create a new folder and name it track pictures. So track pictures with a space, not as one word. That's the hard work done. Now all we need to do is take the icons we wish to import into Cubase 10. For example, I've got the Mix Essentials pack here. I'm just going to shift select all these and copy them into the track pictures folder. See that they're now in there. Now what we need to do is load up Cubase 10, which I've already got loaded, and we're going to create a new session, an empty project. So I'm going to go to new project and select prompt for location at the bottom and create an empty project. Now I'm going to navigate to the folder I created on the desktop and use this to save the CPR file inside. So I'm going to select that folder like so. All we need to do now is go to File, Save, and again, give your CPR something that is going to be easy for you to remember and you know what it does. So Cubase 10 icon import, and we're going to click on Save, and that's now saved a CPR into that folder on the desktop. Now this bit's really important. You need to quit Cubase. You can't just close the session and then open it up and expect for it to work. Cubase needs to shut down and refresh itself for this to work. So go to quit. And then once Cubase has finished closing down, we can load it up again just by opening up the folder and double clicking on that CPR file we've just created. And what will happen is Cubase will load the project up and it will recognize that in the directory there's a folder called track pictures and it's got some icons in it. And what Cubase will then do is prompt you to import those icons into that particular project and also make them available for other projects on your system. This is going to take a second or two to load. Um, literally not long just reinstalled Windows, not long finished reinstalling Windows should I say, and some plugins so it's all thinking about things. There we go. So now what will happen is you'll see you'll get this pop-up box like so and it will say this project contains pictures which are not part of your library. Do you want to add them to the library and make them available in other projects? And obviously we want to click add. And now Cubase will import all those icons into the project and other projects for us to use. So if we go ahead and create, I don't know, an instrument track like so. If you want to view the icons for the instrument track in the main edit window, you need to click on this little down arrow icon next to the cog and make sure hide track pictures is disabled. And then you'll see this little gray outline of a box if I make this bigger. And if you double click on this box, it'll bring up the track pictures browser and it will have two tabs. One's called factory and the other one is called user. So factory is the default icons that comes with Cubase and use it is for anything that you've imported into Cubase. And as you can see here, the icons have been imported for us into the mixer or the track picture browser, should I say. Now, if we're working in the mixer in Cubase 10, it's not as good as Cubase 9.5. And this is something that we all need to badger Steinberg for because it's a little bit silly, but in the new version of Cubase 10, they've reduced the size of the tracks pictures box. So you can only scale it to this tiny size, whereas on previous versions of Cubase, you could get the boxes to about this size of really big and they scaled up really, really well. Now, if I expand the uh, 
mixer here, you can see that they're not scaling correctly. So that is something that Steinberg need to resolve, but we all need to get on their backs for this in order for them to make these boxes work as they did in the previous versions of Cubase, such as Cubase 9.5. But you'll see, um, if you can't see the track pictures box, if you're wondering, instead of me ranting how to get this open, you need to go over to the far right here where it says setup window and layout. So it's the cog icon with the little square on it. Click on this and just make sure the track pictures box is checked. And then if you want to change your track pictures, you just double click on the box and just click on the one you want to use. And that's it. It's as simple as that. If you need to add more track pictures in the future, just add them into that folder, close Cubase down, open it up again, and it should prompt you for more icons to import. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you haven't, you can give it a big thumbs down. Normally there's someone that will give it a thumbs down for whatever reason. I think they're just trolls. <laughs> and then if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in some custom icons, there is a few packs that I've made which are available on the website on poundsound.co.uk. There's a link in the description below. Be sure to check them out if you fancy. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.